Hi, I'm Tony Polias, and welcome to ilearnthings.com. In this episode, we're going to cover downloading and installing OpenOffice.org. What is OpenOffice.org? Well, OpenOffice.org is an office productivity suite similar to Microsoft Office, and it has a lot of the same functionality. Big advantage is it's free. Yeah, you can just download it for free and use it on your computer and not worry about the expense of the program. Because it's similar to Microsoft Office, you can also open Microsoft Office documents. And if you're using it for school, it's really handy because sometimes uh, you know you have a document that uh, maybe one of your friends sends you or a teacher sends you and you want to open it up, but you don't have Microsoft Office at home. What do you do? Well, you can download OpenOffice for free and use it to edit that document. Okay, so let's get started. Open up your web browser and go to the URL openoffice.org. This is the website uh, for the program. You can get quite a bit of uh, information about it if you have any questions. It's licensed under the LGPL license, which is the lesser new general public license and uh, basically what that means is it's free for you to download uh, you can distribute the source code uh, you can submit changes um, and it's uh, you know pretty awesome back in the main web page if you want to download it you have this uh, button right here it says I want to download openoffice.org just click on that um, what it does is it uh, determines what kind of operating system you have because OpenOffice is available in many different languages and uh, many different operating system versions. So if you have uh, Windows or Mac or uh, Linux, uh, maybe your language is not English, maybe you want to download it in Spanish, uh, you can do it and it's absolutely free. Um, there is a link down here, a couple different links you might want to take a look at if you're interested. Uh, you can order it in CD-ROM if you don't have a fast internet connection or download it through peer-to-peer -peer networks. If you click on this Get More Platforms, Languages, Non-JRE Versions, you can see all the different versions of OpenOffice that are available. Here's a big list uh, and as you can see it's in, available in quite a few different languages. Uh, the latest release at this time is 3.1.1. Not all the languages or operating system versions um, have the latest release. So the way you use this chart right here is first you pick your language. In my case that would be English, this row right here. And then your operating system. You have Windows, Linux. For me that would be uh, Mac OS X. There's two different Mac OS 10s. There's PowerPC, which is the PPC, and the Intel. I use the Intel Mac. If you have a newer Macintosh, it's probably Intel as well. You can just click on this download button. As soon as you do that, you should uh, have a pop-up that says, uh, asks you to save the file. So save the file, uh, but remember where you save it. If you're using a Mac, by default, that would be in the Downloads folder. If you don't want to go and pick a, a specific version for you, you can make it really easy on yourself by just clicking this I want to download and clicking on the download now option. Uh, again, you should get a pop-up asking you where you want to save it. Uh, because I've already downloaded it, I'm just going to hit cancel. But I do want to show one thing here and that is at the bottom of the page there are installation instructions. If you get lost or um, for some reason this screencast does not work for you, you can go through these installation instructions and try to troubleshoot to see if you can get it working. As soon as it's done downloading, navigate to the folder where you saved it. In my case that's the downloads folder. And you should see it right there. Double click on the installer. If you're using a Mac, um, the installer asks you to drag the application into your applications folder. Uh, let it run its course and install the program onto your hard drive.
Okay, the application's finished installing, so now we're ready to run it for the first time. Since I'm using a Mac, it installs it by default into the applications folder. Uh, to run the uh, program, I have to go into my applications folder and look for an application called openoffice.org.app. Double click on that because it's the first time I run this application and I download it from the internet, it gives me a little warning saying, am I sure do I want to uh, run this application? Uh, the reason it does this is to alert you, the user, that an application is running that was downloaded off the internet just in case it's a virus or something that could cause harm. Because OpenOffice is a genuine program, it's okay just to hit the open button and continue running the program. You'll see the splash screen here, and as soon as it done, it's done loading, you'll get the uh, main window here. The main window shows you different options. Uh, there are several sub-programs to the OpenOffice.org program, uh, similar to what you would find in Microsoft Office. You have a text document, presentations, database, spreadsheet drawings, and formula. This would be equivalent to Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Access, Microsoft Excel, and these drawing and formulas are a little different than what you would find in Microsoft Office. Go ahead and click any one of these. I'm going to hit the uh, text document and we'll open up a uh, word processor. The layout is very similar to many other word processors that are out there, so you should be pretty familiar with the way it works. You have your page right here, and in this little gray box, uh, the gray box which are the margins, you can type in whatever you want. If you want to switch to one of the other applications in OpenOffice, just go to the top left-hand corner. There's a little drop-down arrow. Click on that and select one of the options that are available to you. If you want to have a, open up a spreadsheet, just click on the spreadsheet option and the spreadsheet program will open up. As you can see, we now have a spreadsheet application open and this is very similar to other spreadsheet applications available. You have the columns and rows, and you can type in numbers. You can uh, sum them up with formulas. We'll go over the details of some of the functionality of this in later episodes. Before I let you go, there's one thing I'd like to point out if you're running a Macintosh computer. There is another application called NeoOffice that is based on the OpenOffice program, which is optimized for the Mac operating system. The current version is NeoOffice 3.0.1. To get the program, go to their website, which is www.neooffice.org. Click on this NeoOffice 3.0.1 now available link. It asks you to donate if you're going to use this program, um, especially uh, if you're making money with this program, I highly encourage you to make a donation so that they can uh, support the work that they're doing in uh, creating this application for you. At the bottom of the next screen, you have your different download options. Uh, most likely you'll want to download the Mac Intel version. If you have an older Mac, you can also download the Mac Power PC. Um, if you want to download it through BitTorrent, uh, those options are available as well. Try them both out if you have a Mac and let me know which one you like better. Okay, They're very similar but uh, NeoOff is a little more uh, optimized to run on the Mac. Well that'll do it for this episode. Um, I hope you found it useful and we'll see you next time.